Imagine if I was being my normal size klutz today. <laughs> I could have tripped up the stairs, knocked yeah. a tooth out, and then no one would want no one would want to watch these videos. So I'd be the one tooth wonder. Guys, welcome back to Ag with Emma. We are still in Minnesota. We're on like day. We're still on farm tour. So this is Carly. She messaged me on Instagram last night and was like, "Yo, where are you staying?" And I was like, "In this town." And she was like, "We're here." And I was like. Oh my gosh. So I came and saw her and that is the beauty of social media and that's why you need to network more because then you meet people like this and they just let you come tour their farm and get a YouTube video with them. So um, I'm going to let Carly explain their operation. If you want to take the phone, you can. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Hey guys. Um, I kind of suck at this, but it's good. It's okay. Um, <laughs> no, just wrong with it. <laughs> so basically, this is, this is the farm here. It's kind of atrocious. I'm so sorry. But we have a truck shop here. I shouldn't say we, so my in-laws do. Um, and then we also farm um, corn and soybeans. So the guys right now are just doing customer stuff, driving semis around like wild men. Soon they will get ready for planting. Um, but otherwise this time of the year is kind of just chaos. Okay, so every operation is different. And like she just said, they do truck sales. Yep, and trucks. so that impacts their planting season, get readiness if they have quite a few customers. So what do you guys, what do they do? They, they buy and sell, you know, used trucks. We sell um, grain trailers, fix the broken stuff because that's what farmers do. That's what we always just, do, yeah. They break things and so. <laughs> all farmers is... can be mechanics, but not all mechanics can be farmers, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> I have to remember that. It's like the shop is always full here. So like I said before, when you want to work on your own stuff, doesn't really happen but that's all right someone's got to do it another interesting thing about these guys is that they do irrigate so when i think of minnesota i'm from idaho and minnesota just seems like a wet saturated ground dark soil state but they do have some pivots on this farm lots and of pivots lots of pivots last so. year they were basically like having 13 children yeah. I think there's 13. <laughs> I, I think that's what my father-in-law said, but it was just, it was so bad. It was like every, every day. Every day there's <laughs> something new, it was right? Bad. Right. It was so bad. Pivots yep. are, we do nothing but irrigation and pivots, so I'm we sure that, rain. yeah, yeah, you, please. drought rain. is not fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. All right, so we are in the shed now, and we are going to teach y'all a little bit, just a smidgen of what we know about seed. Because when you look at a field of crops, you might think, oh, that's just all one variety of seed. You know, they just, you know, dump it all in the same planter. No differences. Get her whipped. But Carly's going to tell you a little bit about the differences in your field that you can see. Yeah. I'm not a pro at this, but I grew up um, thinking just like what Emma just said is, you put the corn in the planter and you plant the stuff. Um, that's not true though. I guess, you know, I don't know if you, you can't see, but there's a, there's a big menagerie of seed here. Right. We'll show um, you. Yeah. We can show you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it just depends um, on soil type. Um, if you have an irrigator, some, you know, some corn needs irrigation, things like that. Um, but it's, it's kind of cool. So there's a bunch of different varieties. Um, it's kind of like Nike. The brand Nike makes a bunch of different shoes. That is such a good way to put Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like my oh my gosh. <laughs> so, so yeah, Nike makes a bunch of different shoes. Our brand of seed, you know, there's corn, but there's like this little family tree of mm -hmm. all these different things. Same with soybeans. Um, so it's just really kind of cool um, to just, just watch the farmers, I guess, kind of pick out where they want to put stuff and, and, you know, what did good last year versus what didn't, what do we want to do different, things like that. So it's... It's really cool. Um, there's definitely like a lot of, a lot of thinking behind the scenes. I'm yeah, sure. exactly. Lots of different varieties and they're always coming out with new varieties. So they also do test plots and they just plant enough to, you know, combine it, you know, a pass of it. Yep, a pass. I don't, it's not like a full, full field's length, but yeah. Yep. Just enough to see what works for them. And so when they're planting, just keep that in mind. If you see a planter out there, it could have like, you know, different seed in it, another pass down the row. But you'd never know because, never you know, know, the farmers know that and they're all super smart and how to figure it out. It's pretty cool. It's kind of crazy too because 
you know, if a, if a test plot wasn't marked, you mm -hmm. how would you know? I mean, a farmer would know. Yeah. They could go out there and say, like, this is definitely different, but to, to someone driving down the road, I mean. It just looks like corn. Corn is corn. Yeah, corn is corn, <laughs> bean are beans, and yeah. you put them in the grain bin, and some people don't even know that. So, yeah. <laughs> that's what we're here to teach you. <laughs> so, just to reinforce, these are grain bins. I think you can see it. I don't, I'm really bad with my backwards camera angle, but grain bins what your corn seed goes into. So sweet corn does not go in grain bins because sweet corn is not a grain. But this stuff that's on the ground goes in grain bins and keeps it dry because they're all constructed and stuff to do that. I'm gonna show you and try to explain what goes on in here. We'll just like come over here and explain the sweep to you. So when you hear about grain bin safety, I hope you guys can hear this because it's really echoey. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Just hear it. Um, this is why grain bin safety is important. So Carly, you can tell them all about it. Okay, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Okay, so basically when this thing like turns on, right? So this is this is filled with corn. So if you have something moving in the corn, the reason you you need to be careful is because obviously right the corn's loose under you you have nothing to stand on so if you can imagine yourself up on top all the way up there i mean <laughs> it's it's hard to see in a video but um yeah and and things change fast so that's yeah it's definitely it's it's freaky for sure yeah and i think um shameless plug for quentin keneally he posted a video on TikTok and explaining it only takes like five seconds to get entrapped in a grain bin. Um, so he made a video about that and they made a grain weevil to help dig people out sure. of grain bins, which is super cool because, you know, 20 years ago even, we didn't have that kind of equipment. So, okay, pause. Hello, this is editing Emma. And I looked up the grain bin weevil a little bit more. To my understanding, it doesn't help farmers get out of the grain bin, but it helps them to not have to climb in the grain bin when it's full and a danger like we've been talking about. So I'll attach a video link in the description of this video so you can learn more about it from the people that have made it. Go check it out. Highly recommend it. Um, hopefully that helps and we'll get back to our regular programming. Yes, but um, when you're in a grain bin and you're unloading it, this thing is moving. So this goes super fast. It's like spinning, spinning, spinning. The grain is all getting dumped down into those holes and then out the door um, into an auger or a leg or whatever you want to call it. So when you're in here, because you obviously have to clean the floor out so you can see where the sweep has gone and they've swept it. So they're going to have to sweep this, but you stand on this side because if this thing is running and you get sucked up into it, that is going to hurt like yeah, like death. <laughs> it's going to hurt like death. <laughs> yeah. So this corn actually, it goes, um, let's, let's, not, let's not fall out of here. Yeah. Good old little stairs. Yeah. I'm probably going to fall out of here because Emma's a klutz. <laughs> so obviously, um, you can kind of just yep. look where it here. goes. So that goes right here. And then the grain drops out into there and it goes up there. Yep. And uh, that, that bin right there, this is what we call the grain leg. So the semis drive under there. Um, if you crank that little little deal thing. The yeah. thingamajigger. <laughs> thing. Here, we'll so, show you the thingamajigger. Yeah, here. <laughs> this thing, here. That thing. This thing. So you turn it. Yep. The semi's under here with it's their right trailer. There. Yep. Um, and then the corn dumps out of there into the semi. And from there, they go to, to town. To town. And, and why do they go to town? And why don't you just leave it in the grain bins? <laughs> <laughs> well, we do like to get paid. Yes. Um, so, yeah, take it to town. Then it goes to who knows where. Um, and it, it ends up on your table. Yeah. And in everything else. Exactly. Pretty cool. And grain corn can also go and feed for cows. So it also ends up on your table. Even yeah. if it's <laughs> an extra step to turn into more protein. Yeah. Agriculture is so cool, huh? Wow. Well, I should talk about stair safety on farms because those are, those are small. Look, my yeah. feet don't even fit on those bad That's, boys. What size are your feet? <laughs> 11. Oh, I got big honkers too. Oh, yeah. Look I mean, at that. Yeah. Look, imagine if I was being my normal size klutz today. <laughs> <laughs> I could have tripped up the stairs, knocked yeah. a tooth out, and then no one would want, uh, no one would want to watch these videos. So I'd be the one tooth wonder. You would be the one. Yeah. That's, <laughs> it's good to think about. 
I mean, we're, we're like both pretty tall. Yeah. How tall are you? I'm like 5'11". Yeah. I'm pretty yeah. tall. Yeah, we have some hoofs on us, so. Yeah, so, you so know, when out. you step, we're just going to cover stairs. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> going up the steps on anything not just the farm <laughs> that is a quick little video from minnesota with carly super last minute super cool also yeah. we're just gonna show you the fat fat tires over there fat. oh yeah oh look at those fatties fat. <laughs> shoddy little fatty that's a fatty <laughs> you got a fatty <laughs> i love fatties <laughs> only those fatties yeah don't take offense to that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch us on all your other socials. What is your Instagram? It's at Carly Conageezer. Um, I'll spell that. If you that. can spell that. C I'll get a picture by the sign. Yeah. Yeah. Spell it. C-A-R-L-I-E-K-A-N-N-E-G-I-E-S-S-E-R. -S -S -E so if you're watching on your TV, you better have your Instagram whipped out. Rewind that. Type it into your Instagram. Click the follow button. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks for watching. Catch me on all your other socials, podcast every Tuesday. We'll catch you on the next video. Hasta la pasta. He also has a clothing business. True. We're going to plug it shamelessly right now. It might be a little bit. Oh my goodness. I'm going to show you. Hold on. Support local farmers with the little wheats on it. Oh. <laughs> hey. Love that. Good. So. Love this. Thank you. Yeah. Now we are going to say hasta la pasta. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so cold I can't feel anything. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Bye Carly. Bye.